what is sex education? We talk about, we start talking about gender first. We're differentiating what sex and gender is. Teach sex education, not to teach the learners on how to do sex. The challenge for some of us is that if you are going to take a grade four learner and teach them about uh, private parts and so on, you know, this good intention may lead to, you know, an unwanted uh, or unintended consequences. not explicit. I wasn't trained to, to teach sex education. Because if you write the word sex on the wall or in the pot, I mean they will start laughing. We are just teaching them about sex education and nothing more, nothing less. We don't teach them on how to sleep. The boy on top of the girl, no, we don't teach them those things. But we only teach them about sex education. What approach do you take in educating your learners about sex? In our school, we don't teach it because it promotes sex in a way which the learners, they feel like if you teach them sex, they must practice it. Tell them that it's not good at an early age, you see. But I've realized one thing, most of the girls do get pregnant at grade eight and nine. So, but I tell them to use condom. The word abstain doesn't help at all. Tell them to, to, to use a, a safe sex, simple as that. They like talking about sex, but we normally avoid, don't go into detail about it. Sex, we talk about just in introducing intercourse that it's, for instance, it's not nice if you are still young. So, somewhere they slip through the fingers because you encourage them not to, to, to engage in sex, but bottom line, they end up engaging in sex. In grade 11 and 12, whenever we also include maybe a chapter or a, a topic about sex education, you know, the learners become so excited. They want to tell you more about sex education, sex life, sexuality. They like it a lot because it's something that they are doing, especially in, in township. A lot of what I learned about sex education was the basic stuff, but more than anything, a lot of what we got were the after effects of teachers' opinions of, hey, nothing about fun, it's all me, it's I'm like, okay, and all these opinions of, this happens with that guy, don't look at that guy, he's looking up. Yeah. 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 So it was all the after effects, but not really the core of it all. In it, terms felt, of. it felt very taboo. Mm. Yeah. It didn't, it didn't feel yeah. comfortable like it is today. Yeah almost like they were actually scared yeah. of talking about what like sex actually is and how intimate it actually is and yeah just everything that wasn't surface level everything that mm. you couldn't just you know get on a, a pamphlet yeah. Yeah. yeah we're gonna paint an ugly picture of this thing so you stay as far as as, as possible as you can from it interesting mine was actually like totally different from yours yeah, yeah. mine we were actually like encouraged like not like encouraged to go out there and have sex, but they actually painted a beautiful picture about sex. <laughs> sex is beautiful, yeah. man. But if you're gonna do it, just be smart and wise about it. The community should play a role, not the school.
school only. You know, it's difficult for parents to teach their children about sex education. But as educators, it, it's simpler than, than their parents. And even the learners, they feel more comfortable to discuss it with their teacher. And the curriculum will tell us that you must teach this to the learners and the parents will come and fight with us if the learner go home and, and tell them that I learned this at home, at, at school. And then the parent will fight, why did you teach my, my child this? Because me and I, I didn't want my child to know about this, you know. So it's better if the parents can also play the same role as the teacher. The department has uh, good intentions, of course, uh, you know, to teach our children about the pros and cons, you know, of uh, these uh, sex uh, activities. We want our children to grow up, uh, yeah. you know, not uh, being exposed to, you know, you know, not being uh, sexually dynamic. Those are the things that should be le left for adults. Who is teaching into consideration? Get someone who's more like relatable to the students and someone who's not afraid to shy away from saying all the stuff that someone else could be feeling like quite shy about or quite prude about. It would gain more engagement because I mean, I feel like when you speak to someone you relate to, you're more likely to open up to them and actually even ask about your own personal questions or something that's um, troubling you versus someone who you're looking at as, oh, that's an aunt figure, that's a mother figure. Even the community should know that Sex education is not all about being sexually active. Learners need to be free, need to be able to, to talk whenever they encounter some challenges. It, it shouldn't be the first a teacher the first person to teach them about sex education.